Okay, gang, so as we jump into the world of alkynes, the first set of reactions we're going to look at are just hydrogenation of triple bonds. So we've looked at you know, how to hydrogenate double bonds, so really this is not that new, this is old hat, and I promise you're going to like these reactions and you're going to probably see these a lot in complete the reaction questions, and when you do see them, you grab them up because they're easy points. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's look at something as simple as this alkyne right here. Okay, so let's look at this example reaction, right? So as our starting material, we see we have a one, two, three, four, five, six carbon alkyne, right? We see the triple bond is between the third and fourth carbon. So throughout hydrogenation, what are the reagents we need to just bring this back to a regular old, boring old alkane? And the answer is, you guys already know this. If you think about it, right? We know there's one sigma bond between these two carbons. The only thing that's different is that instead of one pi bond, we have two. So we can still use H2 and PDC, hydrogen and palladium adsorbed carbon. However, we just need to make sure we have two equivalents, right? One for each pi bond. Done. You guys, this is old news, right? Okay. So the interesting part about this video is what do we do in the case of uh, different hydrogenation reagents, right? So let me just erase this real quick. Oops. Get rid of that. So there's actually two different ways to get two different products, right? So what I'm going to show you is there's a way to get the cis double bond as well as the trans double bond. So, let's start off with the trans double bond. To basically hydrogenate a triple bond to a trans double bond, you'll see these reagents. Elemental sodium, right, and maybe you see Na without the zero up top, but if you do, it just means just regular old elemental sodium. And you'll see liquid ammonia, right? So that's important, don't forget that little liquid qualifier. It actually matters, okay? When you see a triple bond, you see these sets of reagents, you know you're going to step down from a triple to a double bond, but more specifically, the trans double bond, right? And we know it's trans because if we walk the double bond, right, we cross it, we traverse it, right? We tra uh, it's trans. Okay. Now I'm going to redraw this. Kind of ugly. Sorry about that. And it looks funky, right? Looks like the shrugging, uh, shrugging shorter guy. Okay. So, on the other hand, what if we want the cis double bond? How do we accomplish that? So, what you'll see is instead of this set of reagents down here, you'll see your familiar H2, your hydrogen, but you're going to see something down here, and people usually write this out, you'll see Lindler's Catalyst. You can Google Lindler's Catalyst, and it's kind of a bigger, cumbersome molecule to draw, so uh, people usually write out the word. But if you were curious, go ahead and Google it. You'll see what it is. So if you see H2 and Lindler's, right, you get the cis double bond, right? And we cis because if we walk the double bond, we stay on the same side. On the other hand, we're talking sodium and NH3, okay? Really nothing new. These are memorization reactions. Again, you're going to see these on complete the reaction portions of your tests, okay? So let me point out one thing about... Uh, the Lindler's reaction. Okay, so maybe someone's sneaky on your test and they give you something along the lines of uh, what are we doing here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so maybe you see D2 and Lindler's catalyst. Okay, so you're not phased because you know exactly what this is. You see the triple bond. You see this is hydrogen with an extra neutron, right? Uh, and Lindler's catalyst, right? So you're going to hydrogenate this triple bond to a cis double bond. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did not do myself any favors. One, two. One, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, right. So, right, with hydrogen, we can leave those implied. We need to show the deuteriums. 
So in this case, right, since you know you have two things on this side of the double bond, the deuteriums add to the same side. Just make sure you show them. Okay? Nothing earth-shatteringly new in this video. I have these in some of the practice worksheets. Um, I know you guys have no trouble with this. These are easy points. And in other news, we're going to keep chugging along with alkynes.